Two mosques in New Zealand last month were attacked. 50 people were killed, many more injured. We are seeing many more acts of anti-Semitism and hatred and bigotry and those who are attacking the Muslim community. Here in Connecticut, the Muslim community is very active, trying to bridge the gap, trying to get people to come together to see maybe that we have more similarities than we have differences. And we have Fatma Antar from the Muslim Coalition of Connecticut, and we want to thank you for joining us here on Face the State. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Uh, you and I have known each other uh, for a while. Uh, you're much more vocal now, and I know you're making a big effort uh, to reach out. Why? We feel that it is very important, uh, instead of being talked about, is to, for Muslims to be part of the discussion and the dialogue. Uh, it is very important that we uh, uh, reach out to many people to explain ourselves that we are part of the American fabric. We are not strangers, uh, we are not foreigners, although I was born somewhere else, but I have been an American citizen for many, many years, actually. I lived most of my life in Connecticut. One of the stories that made a big impression on me and uh, I think many of our viewers was uh, an attack on a Meriden mosque several years ago. Correct. And it was a man who lived next door yes. who um, started shooting at the mosque. And then, uh, after you know uh, the whole process of the criminal process, uh, the mosque leaders decided, rather than send him to prison, uh, that if he got to know the people at the mosque, mm -hmm. maybe things would be different. Mm -hmm. And they have been. And he comes to the mosque now and considers them uh, friends. Absolutely. So it really shows you sometimes if you don't understand yeah. people, it breeds hatred. Yes, absolutely. Reaching out to people before they formulate a, a, a bad opinion about certain group of people is healthier for everybody. One of the things, uh, you re recently hosted a dinner and discussion, and I, I went, mm -hmm. and it was very enlightening uh, to me. I had no idea that the Muslim community is as active as it is. Uh, you do a lot of fundraisers and uh, outreach. Uh, you work with food pantries. So you're very, very involved uh, yes. with the community. Do you think that Connecticut is a receptive community, that people want to be a part of a community with everyone? Our experiences have been very positive in the state of Connecticut, but it does not mean, I'm, you know, I'm not naive to assume everybody loves the Muslims or love the Jews. There are some who do not. And what we can do is to reach out to as many people as possible and to welcome everybody. Actually, uh, the Islamic Association of Greater Hartford, where that media dinner took place, although it is sponsored by the Muslim Coalition of Connecticut, our policy since it started is an open door policy for everybody to come in whenever they want. So. You, you can find that some Jews, some Christians, uh, you know, are more than welcome to come. Of course, the majority are Muslims. Why do you think we're seeing such an increase now in our society with acts of violence against someone based on their ethnicity or religious beliefs? To be honest with you, I have no idea, but the trend started uh, on the national level uh, during the previous presidential election. But even before that, before that we have seen politicians using uh, these issues to divide and conquer in order to get voters to vote for them. But of course, it was very intense during the uh, last presidential election. We only have a couple of minutes left, but I wanted to ask you, you know, is it important then that we do a better job at condemning acts of violence? I know some have been very critical of the president for not doing that because if people don't see that, um, maybe they don't realize how damaging their actions can be. Absolutely. And the Muslim Coalition of Connecticut is very active in doing that. Whenever there is an act of violence against any group of people, Muslims or non-Muslims, we right away Issue, issue a statement. 
uh, of condemnation. Uh, one example is the attack on the synagogue, the Tree of Life synagogue. Right away we issued a statement. It is very important to give a clear message, especially coming from leaders, right. especially coming from leaders of the country. Because you can relate. I mean, yes. you know, I mean, Jews have been attacked uh, for, for centuries. So we're all in this together. Absolutely. Absolutely. Any words of hope as we leave the show today? Yes, I am always hopeful. And that is actually a motivation by itself that we work, we have to work very hard to reach out, reach out to people through education and outreach programs. There is actually a taste of Ramadan. Uh, it's, a, um, it's an event the Muslim Coalition of Connecticut is going to host on May the 19th between 6 to 9 p.m. And everybody is welcome to come. Well, thank and you taste very much. The good food. Delicious. <laughs> this food, I'm there. Right. Thanks for joining us on Face the State. That's it for this Sunday, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend.